Here's the field now, race number nine. Ninth race, claiming Pacers racing one mile. The one has been scratched. Number two, and from off the rail, Wire Me Money. Owned and trained by Alex Spence Jr. of Grove City, Jeff out driving. The three, sharp looking JJ, owned by Eilers Auto Rental of Kettering, Selden Lundford Trains, Eric Lundford Drives. Four, stylish cookout, owned by Gerald Woodard of Malta, Ed Ryder Trains for Bob Harper. The five, T Bone Sticks, owned by Don Johnson of Pickerington, Randy Owens, the uh, trainer, Mike Wilderup. Six, Simcoe's Image, owned and trained by Max Mauser of London, Darren Mauser with the Lions. The seven, Rolling Start, owned by Pam Hanauer of Lebanon, Terry Groves Trains and Drives. From post eight, it's Helen's Rip, owned by Evan Sheets of Olivet, Michigan, Larry Stolbaum Trains and Drives. The nine, Warm Image, owned by Thomas Cummins of Solana, Roy Murphy, the trainer, Randy Tharps in the bike. And the TNSF Satellite, held by Jim Shelton and Jeff Yoder of Plain City. Jim Shelton trains and drives. Wouldn't play show perfecta. The gates on the back stretch. There they go. And the recall lights are flashing. The uh, starter has indicated a recall. Windows remain. This field on the back stretch. And uh, now they're off, and from the inside, uh, first away, it's Wire Me Money, alongside in second, sharp-looking JJ. Circling from the far outside, here comes Warm Image, Simcoe's Image, also in the hunt early. To the inside and racing a fifth, it's Stylish Cookout. At the middle in sixth, SF Satellite, two lengths in seventh, T-Bone Sticks, another two lengths in eighth. Rolling start, the early trailer is Helen's Rip. Reaching the first quarter mile marker, Wire Me Money has the lead. The opening in panel 27 and one fifth of a second. Of the outside, here comes Simcoe's image. He was parked the opening panel and now he takes a lead. Simcoe's image makes the frontier on the inside. Wire Me Money and Wire Me Money coming right back to the outside. Stylish Cookout remains third at the rail. Another three lengths in fourth, it's T-Bone Sticks to the outside five SF satellites. Warm Image is locked in tight at the rail in sixth. T-Bone Stakes is underway. They reach the half, 56 and four. They swing to the back stretch, and Fount is moving along with Wire Me Money. They lead here by two, haven't had much of a breather yet. Simcoe's image, the guard spot trip, and here comes SF Satellite making his bid for the lead. Out of the outside with the cover, it's T-Bone Stakes, and now locked in five is Stylish Cookout. Helen's Rip is working out a nice trip here in sixth. Into the final turn, and Warmy Money hasn't had much of a breather anywhere. Here's a three quarters, 127 and two. Out of the outside, swinging three wide. Here comes T Bone Stakes. As they swing to the top of the stretch on the inside with the lead, Warmy Money, but T Bone Stakes is right there in Helen's Rip within striking distance. Now, last Saturday, eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come, and it's T Bone Stakes with the lead. On the outside, Helen's Rip is closing strong. T-Bone Stakes and Helen's Rip. T-Bone Stakes, a length. Helen's Rip second, Warmy Money third, and SF Satellite fourth. Ninth is official. 5-8 perfect is $60.40, 60 40 The 5-8-2-10 super perfect of $4,272.80, 42 Here's the winner, number five, T-Bone Stakes. Five-year-old son of Niall Leiter from the True Luck Mare, Lucky T. Owned by Don Johnson of Pickerington, Randy Owens trains, Mike Wilder in the Sonky. The fifth win of the season for T-Bone Stakes. Earning a mark tonight, 157-2.